What can I say, not bad for a paddy, huh? They lined up nicely and then lined up nicely too. Now I will say I ended up drilling the holes about 20 millimeters with a, a whatchamacallit, a flat wood spade bit and they, uh, they give you that little bit of extra wriggle room that you needed and everything lined up nicely after that. So pretty much that's it now. The bull bar's on or the A-bar is on, should I say, and it all lines up nicely. So now all that's left to do is screw all the bits of the bumper back on, the side trims for the wheel arches, and the Mantec plate. Now, as I say, it's just everything in reverse order. All your torque screws back into the bumper, under the bumper, the little Phillips at the side, the locator, the locator, bit of locator plastic just there and um, pop the wheel arch trim back on then and stick the screws back into that. Uh, that's really it. I can think of nothing else that uh, should be a problem. As I say, if I encounter any problems when I'm putting it all back together again, I'll make a note of it on the, the video. But after that, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to have to take off the A-bar again to get the grill back on and the headlights back in, but I'm hoping I don't have to because if that's the case, every time I want to change a bulb in the headlights I'm going to have to take the A-bar off again, which is, okay, it's only four bolts, but it's just another pain in the arse. So, that's it. Hope this is of some information to anyone that's ever going to fit one again. Uh, so far we're up to about uh, 55 minutes, now, say an hour so far, and I reckon another half hour to put it all back together again. So. I'll be back with you. I'll be back to you with the next few bits and pieces of information if there's any more problems. Right up. That's it all. Gathered back up again now, ready to rock and roll. Hey, a bar is on. The lights are all working. The trim is all back on properly. Uh, give it a bit of a clean up. Uh, what more can I say about the job? I'm happy enough with the job cost me a lot less than going to a dealer or anyone else to, uh, for that matter. Uh, it took about two and a half hours and all. The one thing I will say is removing that wheel arch trim, you do need to take the whole thing off. That idea of taking off the front bit, while in theory it sounds good. Down around here, there's two clips that clip it in towards the bumper. And when I was pulling them off, one of them snapped. Now I presume it's a small matter of just getting uh, Nick to post me out two more of them. But uh, that's really the only downfall in the whole job. Over here at the top of the A-bar, in here, there's supposed to be a clip that goes across to stabilize the top of the uh, top of the A-bar. It was a second-hand A-bar, so and them bits are missing. So I'm hoping that Nick can get them for me as well. Other than that, I'll just give concept moldings a ring and see. You can see it really does, really could do with them. It's not, a, it's not just so stable without them. That's really it. I hope you found the video uh, helpful and informative. Uh, uh, yeah, I would say uh, I would have liked to have been able to have a video going into doing it myself, but. I don't think anyone had one done. So, that's it. Next job is possibly going to be to fit the 9-inch Hella Illuminators. I have two Xenon uh, Hella Illuminators to go on it. And uh, that's the next job. So I'll need to talk to Ten for Cash probably about what part of the central junction box to fit them into and such like, and then see can I get a local dealer to enable them. Okay, hope you found the video informative and thanks for your time. Bye bye.